people, you say power. People. Power. My name is Ramani Williams. From this day forth, I'll be known as a people teacher. <laughs> <laughs> the folks who are here are who the governor should have been thinking about Period. when she passed her budget. Right. Right. I don't know if she thought about them and ignored them. I never thought about them at all. Right. Not at all. But the budget that came out does not have working and struggling class New Yorkers in mind. What it does is make sure that we protect the richest, the wealthiest among us, and we do that on the backs of the working and struggling people of New York, and that ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't right. I'm so proud to have the endorsement of Vocal. I'm so proud to be here with WFP and Citizen Action. I'm so proud to be here with the next Lieutenant Governor Ana Maria Archila. Because not only do we believe in people power, that's all we fought for for our entire careers. I said when I started running that Kathy Hoku, who I ran against in 2018, was going to be more of the same or worse. Yeah. Unfortunately, over the past two weeks, I'm sad to say that I'm right. I'm sad because that means more people will be harmed. Yep. As was mentioned, the governor did not hold up the budget to get more money to people for their health care. She didn't hold up the budget to make sure we dealt with the housing crisis. She didn't get hold up the budget to make sure that we dealt with the food insecurity that was going on. That is right. She held up the budget so she can roll back hot brought criminal legal reforms and to get a billion dollars to a billionaire in Buffalo that hired her husband. We've talked about what keeps a community safe and communities that have the resources that they need to live their best lives look a lot different than the ones who don't. Anna Maria and I have a 10 point plan of public safety. Right. That first plan is a billion dollars for gun violence prevention and victim services. Here we, go. Yes. Here right here. we made sure to say victim services because what elected officials like to do, including our democratic leaders, and I'm part of the Democratic Party, but our, our leaders like to lift up the trauma Right, of victims that's right, that's right. to further victimize their community. That's right, that's right. But when we talk to victims, they tell us what it is that they need and there's no funding there for them. We ask for a billion dollars for gun violence prevention and victim services. Yesterday, there was a mass shooting where I live in New York City in the MTA. A few days before that, we didn't get close to a billion dollars for gun violence and victim services. We got a billion dollars for the Buffalo Bills. This is the priority of this governor. This governor has prioritized the wealthiest among us that benefit from evictions, that benefit from foreclosures, that benefit from high rents that people can't afford. The people who benefit from the harm that is done to the people behind me are the people that Kathy Hochul is protecting. Boom. That's not something that can stand. We felt the rain, that's probably some inconvenience to people as it was raining. But then I remember, this is where people will be sleeping all across New York State. In the rain, in the elements. I was there. This is who we should be thinking about. We have more money than we will ever have in this state budget. This year, and this budget that came out was a colossal failure on behalf of working families. We must have leaders in Albany who understand that the seats that they hold are not more important than the people they represent. And when they go to fight for budget resources, they say, damn it, I'm going to hold this budget up until everyone has a house that they can yes, live in, yes, a home yes, that they can woo. live in. Yes. 
I'm going to hold this budget up till everybody has access to health care, to harm reduction services that have access to the funding they need for mental health. That's what I'll hold the budget up for, not for billionaires. That's the type of leadership that we need. But that's not the type of leadership that we have. If you look at the trajectory of this current governor, she has always done everything, everything needed to get herself elected. And unfortunately, that has meant doing and supporting things that harm New Yorkers. That's right. But I can tell you this. If the governor was ever elected, because she was never elected to begin with. Right. No, she wasn't. On day one, she'll be thinking about how to get re-elected. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When Anna Maria and I are elected, we'll be thinking about how to do as much damage to the Albany Albatross that has been around New York State. How do we shake that up yeah. on behalf yeah. of everybody behind yeah. us to make yeah. sure they get the resource yeah. they need? And that's the difference between our campaign and the governor's campaign. Yes. And so we're proud to be here getting the endorsement of Vocal because she may have $20 million that she got after she told wealthy people she won't tax them. She may have more money than us. She will never have more people power. Thank you so much. Peace and blessings. Yes. And that is why from Brooklyn to Buffalo, we endorse Jemani Williams and